Hallelujah. Oh, what a wonderful the Lord has made. May his name be glorified. Father in heaven, we turn glory to you. The God of the universe, confident keeping God. Hallelujah to them today. Men and brethren, I welcome you today, my broadcast of the Bible reading. As you join me anywhere you are, my friends, my lovers, brothers and sisters, men and brethren, may good Lord bless you. As you join me in reading, the word of God will produce results, salvation, healing, deliverance in your life. May the Lord bless the work of your hand, your going and coming in Jesus' name. Preserve you from danger, from harm and hurt this season, and see you through in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I pray. Shall we read now? John chapter 4. When therefore the Lord knew how the Pharisees had heard that Jesus met and baptized more disciples than John. Though Jesus himself baptized not, but his disciples, he left Judea and departed again into Galilee. He must needs go through Samaria. Then coming he to a city of Samaria, which is called Sychar, near to a parcel of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being wearied with his journey, sat thus on the well, and it was about the sixth hour. There came a woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus said unto her, Give me to drink. For his disciples were gone away unto a city to buy meat. Then said the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou, being a Jew, ask us drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knowest the gift of God, and who it is that said to thee, Give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. The woman said unto him, Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. From whence then hast thou that living water? Are thou greater than our father Jacob, which gave us the well, and drank thereof himself, and his children, and his cattle? Jesus answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be him a well of water spring up into everlasting life. The woman said unto him, Sir, give me this water that I thirst not, neither come hither to draw. Jesus said unto her, Go call thy husband and come hither. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said unto her, Thou hast well said, I have no husband. For thou hast had five husbands, and he whom thou now hast is not thy husband. In that say thou truly. The woman said unto him, Sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet. Our fathers worshipped in this mountain, and ye say that in Jerusalem is a place where men ought to worship. Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Ye worship, ye know not what, we know what we worship, for salvation is for the Jews. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeks sought to worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. The woman said unto him, I know that Messiah is coming, which is called Christ. When he is come, he will tell us all things. Jesus said unto her, I that speak unto thee am he. And upon this came his disciples, and marveled that he talked with the woman, yet no man said, what seekest thou, or why talkest thou with her? 
The woman then left her water pot and went her way into the city and said to the man, Come see a man which told me all things that ever I did. Is not this the Christ? Then they went up to the city and came unto him in the mean while his disciples prayed him, saying, Master, eat. But he said unto them, I have meat to eat that ye know not of. Therefore said the disciples one to another, Had any man brought him all to eat? Jesus said unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me, and to finish his work. Say not ye, there are yet four months, and then come in harvest. Behold, I say unto you, Lift up your eyes, and look on the fields, for they are white to ready to harvest. And he that reapeth receiveth wages, and gathereth fruit unto life eternal, that both he that soweth, and he that reapeth may rejoice together. And hearing it that saying, True, one soweth, and another reapeth. I sent you to reap that whereon you bestowed no labor. Other men labored, and ye enter into their labors. And many of the Samaritans of that city believed on him, for the saying of the woman which he testified, he told me all that ever I did. So when the Samaritans were coming to him, they besought him that he would tarry with them and abode there two days. And many more believed because of his own word, and said unto the woman, Now we believe, not because of thy saying, for we have heard him ourselves, and know that this is indeed the Christ, the Savior of the world. Now after two days he departed thence and went into Galilee. For Jesus himself testified that the prophet had no honor in his own country. Then when he was come into Galilee, the Galileans received him, having seen all the things that he did at Jerusalem at the feast, for they also went unto the feast. So Jesus came again into Cana of Galilee, where he met the water and wine, and there was a certain noble man whose son was sick at Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus was come out of Judea into Galilee, he went unto him and besought him that he would come down and heal his son, for he was at the point of death. Then said Jesus unto him, Except ye see signs and wonders, ye will not believe. The noble man said unto him, Sir, come down here, my child die. Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy son live it. And the man believed the word that Jesus had spoken to him. He went his way. And as he was now going down, his servant met him and told him, saying, Thy son live it. Then inquired he of them the hour when he began to amend. And they said unto him, Yesterday at the seventh hour the fever left him. So the father knew that it was at the same hour in the which Jesus said unto him, Thy son live it. And he himself believed, and his whole house. This is again the second miracle that Jesus did when he was come out of Judea into Galilee. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Christ is coming very soon. Hallelujah. Christ is coming. Praise the name of the Lord. So I want to thank the name of the Lord. I want to thank you, men and brethren. I return glory to the Lord for the audience given to me. Thank you for the audience given to me in the name of Jesus. Join me next time as we read and broadcast and pray together. You know, remember to like my channel. Subscribe. Drop your comment. Whether your comment is bad or good or negative or positive, it doesn't matter. Love me as your friend. I love you. May the good Lord bless you, prosper you, heal you, tap in, fire back, give you victory. In Jesus' name. So next time in Jesus' name. Afraid you, hey.